It's time to strap on those headsets because we're diving into the biggest updates from the past two weeks. From insane new game reveals to jaw-dropping tech upgrades, things are moving fast in the world of virtual and augmented reality. So grab a snack, hit that like button, and make sure you're subscribed so you never miss a single update in the world of immersive gaming. Instantly scan and explore your room in MetaQuest in just five minutes. MetaQuest 3 just got a serious upgrade in spatial awareness. Thanks to a new update, you can now scan your entire room in just five minutes and explore it in VR with mind-blowing accuracy. This feature takes mixed reality to the next level, allowing users to interact with their real-world surroundings inside a digital space. Whether you want to map out your living room for immersive gaming or recreate your workspace for virtual meetings, this tech is making it easier than ever. The magic happens through advanced depth sensors and AI-driven spatial mapping. Instead of relying on manual setups or external devices, Quest 3 leverages its onboard cameras to capture walls, furniture, and even smaller details like plants or coffee tables. This means enhanced pass-through experiences and more refined mixed reality applications. For developers, this opens up endless possibilities. Game studios can now design VR titles that dynamically integrate real-world objects. Imagine a game that recognizes your actual couch and turns it into part of the virtual environment. Even beyond gaming, productivity apps will benefit hugely. Think about setting up a virtual home office where your real desk and chair are accurately placed within the VR world. With Meta's commitment to refining spatial computing, we can expect this feature to expand with more customization options and quicker scanning speeds. The future of mixed reality is here, and it's making your real and virtual worlds blend like never before. Immerse confirms visor mass production set to start post-summer. The long-awaited Immersed Visor is inching closer to reality, but there's a catch. It won't hit mass production until after summer 2025. The team behind this ultra-light, high-resolution XR headset just confirmed that their ambitious project will take a bit longer before it reaches consumers. For those unfamiliar, the Immersed Visor is a sleek, futuristic-looking XR headset designed primarily for productivity rather than gaming. The device boasts 4K micro OLED displays per eye, promising crystal-clear visuals that can rival the best headsets on the market. The focus is on remote work and immersive digital screens, making it a dream for professionals who want to replace their multi-monitor setups with a virtual workspace. So why the delay? The company cites the complexities of manufacturing at scale, ensuring high-quality production while while keeping costs manageable is no small feat, especially for a startup competing with giants like Meta and Apple. Despite this setback, the team remains optimistic, stating that everything is moving in the right direction. Meanwhile, the excitement around the visor continues to build. Many early testers have praised its ultra-lightweight design and immersive clarity. Once mass production begins, we could see a significant shift in how professionals approach remote work and digital productivity. As the countdown to late 2025 begins, one thing is certain, the visor is shaping up to be a game-changer for those seeking a high-end XR workspace experience. If you've been holding out for a next-gen virtual monitor, this might be worth the wait. MetaQuest 3 takes NASA to the moon, VR training for Artemis missions. NASA is making space travel more immersive than ever. Literally, the space agency is now using the MetaQuest 3 for astronaut training, specifically for the upcoming Artemis missions, which aim to return humans to the moon. Virtual reality has long played a role in space training, but the affordability and accessibility of the Quest 3 make it a game changer. Instead of relying solely on multi-million dollar simulators, NASA can now use consumer-grade headsets to help astronauts familiarize themselves with lunar landscapes, spacecraft interiors, and mission protocols. One of the most exciting aspects is the ability to simulate the moon's low-gravity environment. With VR physics engines, astronauts can practice moving in reduced gravity, learning how to adjust their movement for tasks like walking, jumping, or handling equipment. The high-resolution pass-through and hand-tracking of Quest 3 also allow for interactive, realistic training exercises. This isn't just useful for astronauts. The same VR modules NASA is developing could eventually be adapted for public education, giving anyone with a VR headset a chance to experience space travel simulations firsthand. Imagine taking a guided virtual tour of the moon, walking in Neil Armstrong's footsteps, or even piloting a lunar lander all from the comfort of your living room. With the Artemis missions pushing humanity further into space, VR is proving to be an invaluable tool in preparing for the next frontier.
MetaQuest 3 might not take you to the moon physically, but it's definitely bringing the lunar experience closer than ever before. Top developers are already harnessing Quest's pass-through API. Pass-through technology is quickly becoming a major game-changer in mixed reality, and big-name developers are already integrating Quest's pass-through API into their projects. Major studios like Niantic, Resolution Games, and Creature are diving into the tech, bringing new levels of interactivity that blend virtual and real-world elements in ways we've never seen before. So what exactly does Quest's pass-through API do? Essentially, it allows developers to overlay digital objects into your real environment using the headset's cameras. Instead of being locked into a completely virtual space, you can see your actual surroundings while interacting with digital objects in real time. This opens the door for immersive AR gaming, productivity apps, and enhanced mixed reality experiences. Niantic, the studio behind Pokemon Go, has been one of the biggest early adopters. Given their experience in augmented reality, it's no surprise that they're pushing Quest's pass-through API to new limits. Imagine a future Pokemon Go experience where you can battle or catch Pokemon directly in your living room, all rendered with perfect depth and realism through the Quest 3's advanced pass-through. Resolution Games, known for VR hits like Dameo and Blastin, is also making strides in leveraging pass-through for social gaming and interactive experiences. Their focus is on creating games that feel more naturally embedded into your physical surroundings, making the transition between real and virtual seamless. This rapid adoption signals a future where mixed reality isn't just an experimental feature but a core aspect of VR gaming and applications. The ability to mix virtual content with your real-world space means that soon, everything from work meetings to fitness games could feel far more interactive and immersive. Meta's investment in pass-through tech seems to be paying off, and as more developers jump on board, we're likely to see a wave of groundbreaking applications in the coming years. Whether it's gaming, social experiences, or productivity tools, the ability to blend realities is the future, and Quest's pass-through API is leading the charge. Quest 3 Whitewater VR delivers the most lifelike water simulation yet. If you've ever wanted to experience the thrill of navigating through turbulent rapids without actually getting soaked, Whitewater VR might just be your new favorite game. Coming to Quest 3, this adrenaline-fueled experience is boasting the most realistic water simulation seen in VR yet, and it's got physics enthusiasts buzzing. Water physics in VR has always been a tricky challenge. Most games either use pre-rendered effects or basic physics models that don't quite capture the dynamic movement of real water. Whitewater VR, however, takes things to the next level by using an advanced real-time fluid simulation system that reacts to every paddle stroke, wave, and environmental interaction. The result, a hyper-realistic kayaking experience where the water behaves just as it would in the real world. The game features multiple rivers and environments, each designed with different difficulty levels. Calm streams let you enjoy the scenery, while raging whitewater sections challenge your reflexes and balance. The game also includes competitive and cooperative multiplayer modes, allowing you to race against friends or team up to conquer tough rapids. But the real star here is the physics engine. Water dynamically shifts around obstacles, crashes against rocks, and creates realistic spray and foam effects. The resistance of your paddle in the water changes depending on the speed and depth of the current, making every movement feel weighty and natural. For VR enthusiasts looking for the next evolution in environmental realism, Whitewater VR is shaping up to be a must-play. If developers continue to refine this level of fluid physics, we might see a new wave of hyper-realistic simulations that push VR immersion to new heights. Samsung's headset may debut in Q3 with a premium price tag. Samsung's long-rumored XR headset may finally be hitting shelves later this year, but brace yourself, it's reportedly going to come with a hefty price tag. While no official numbers have been confirmed, industry insiders are speculating that it could be one of the priciest headsets on the market, potentially rivaling Apple's Vision Pro. The headset, which has been in development for several years, is expected to feature cutting-edge micro OLED displays, advanced pass-through capabilities, and powerful processing hardware. Samsung has remained tight-lipped on the full spec 
specs, but leaks suggest that this device is aiming for the premium end of the XR spectrum, targeting professionals and high-end consumers rather than casual VR users. One of the big questions surrounding this release is how Samsung plans to differentiate itself from Meta and Apple, with Meta dominating the mainstream VR market and Apple pushing for ultra-high-end mixed reality experiences, Samsung will need to find its niche. Some rumors suggest that Samsung's headset could have a stronger focus on productivity with deep integration into the Galaxy ecosystem for seamless connectivity with Samsung phones, tablets, and laptops. The pricing speculation has some potential buyers hesitant. If it's priced similarly to the Vision Pro, $3,499, Samsung will need to justify the cost with unique features and unmatched performance. Unlike Apple, Samsung also has a strong background in gaming displays and mobile VR, so we could see an emphasis on entertainment experiences as well. With a Q3 2025 launch window rumored, we won't have to wait too long to see what Samsung has in store. The battle for the high-end XR market is heating up and Samsung's entry could shake things up in a big way, assuming people are willing to pay the price. Meta and Ray-Ban unveil exclusive Caperni Edition Smart Glasses at Paris Fashion Week. When you think of high fashion, smart glasses probably aren't the first thing that comes to mind. Until now, Meta and Ray-Ban just unveiled a limited edition of their smart glasses in collaboration with French luxury brand Caperni at Paris Fashion Week. And let's just say, they're as stylish as they are futuristic. The Ray-Ban Meta Caperni Edition brings a high fashion twist to the tech-heavy world of AR wearables. Featuring a sleek, minimalist design, these glasses blend seamlessly into the modern aesthetic Caperni is known for. But make no mistake, this isn't just a fashion statement. These smart glasses come packed with all the advanced tech Meta has been refining, including built-in AI, hands-free control, and high-quality camera capabilities. What sets this edition apart, aside from the limited availability, is its exclusivity to the high fashion world. World. While previous Meta Ray-Ban releases have been targeted at tech enthusiasts, this drop is clearly aimed at fashion-forward consumers who want style and substance in their wearable tech. The limited release means these glasses won't be widely available, so if you want to snag a pair, you'll have to act fast. The partnership between Meta and Caperni also signals an interesting shift. Could we see more designer collaborations in the world of smart wearables? If these glasses are a success, we might be on the verge of a new era where fashion and AR technology blend seamlessly. For now, the Ray-Ban Meta Caperni Edition is turning heads on the runway and proving that AR tech doesn't have to look like it belongs in a sci-fi movie. It can be sleek, sophisticated, and, most importantly, wearable in the real world. Starting next week, Meta will advise using Unity and Unreal's native OpenXR support. Meta is making a big push towards standardization in VR development, and starting next week, they will officially recommend using Unity and Unreal Engine's built-in OpenXR support. This move is a set to simplify development for VR creators, ensuring more compatibility and smoother cross-platform experiences. For those unfamiliar, OpenXR is an open standard that allows VR and AR apps to work across different hardware without needing custom integrations for each device. Instead of developers having to tailor their games for Quest, HTC Vive, and other headsets separately, OpenXR enables a build once, deploy everywhere approach. By officially recommending OpenXR, Meta is making it clear that they want developers to focus on using industry standards rather than proprietary APIs. This shift also means that future Quest apps and games are more likely to be compatible with other VR platforms, reducing fragmentation in the market. For developers, this is great news. It streamlines the process of creating VR experiences and ensures that they're work can reach a wider audience without requiring major adjustments. It also suggests that Meta is looking beyond its own ecosystem, possibly preparing for a future where VR platforms are more interconnected. With Unity and Unreal Engine being the backbone of most VR games and experiences, this move will likely speed up adoption of OpenXR. If you're a developer working on VR content, now's the time to start embracing the future of cross-platform compatibility. XR Weekly Roundup, Quest 3's eye-tracking module cancelled and Samsung's XR headset takes the lead. 
This week's XR Roundup comes with big news. One feature that many were hoping for on the Quest 3 has been officially put on hold, and Samsung's upcoming XR headset might just be the new king of the premium mixed reality space. Let's start with the bad news. The long-awaited inside eye tracking module for the Quest 3 has officially been scrapped. The module, which was originally pitched as an upgradable add-on for the headset, was expected to bring high-end foveated rendering and improved user interaction. However, due to technical difficulties, and potential cost issues, the project has been indefinitely shelved. This is a major disappointment for those who are hoping to see eye tracking become a standard feature in standalone VR headsets. While eye tracking is present in high-end devices like the PSVR 2 and Apple Vision Pro, the Quest 3 will have to continue without it, at least for now. On the brighter side, Samsung's XR headset is making waves before it's even been released. Recent reports suggest that its specs and features could surpass those of its competitors, including Apple's Vision Pro. With top-tier micro OLED displays, advanced pass-through capabilities, and an ultra-powerful chipset. Samsung seems to be setting the bar high. If the leaks are true, this headset could challenge the dominance of Meta and Apple in the high-end XR space. While the price might be steep, the potential for a truly premium mixed reality experience could make it worth it for serious XR enthusiasts. So, while Quest 3 users might have to wait longer for advanced eye tracking, the future of XR tech is still looking bright especially if Samsung delivers on the height. MetaQuest, Insai halts upgradable eye tracking module indefinitely. For months, the idea of an eye tracking module for Quest 3 had fans excited. Eye tracking is one of the most sought after features in VR, improving everything from foveated rendering, which boosts performance by focusing processing power only on what the user is looking at, to better social interactions in the metaverse. But now in Sai, the company behind the much anticipated upgrade has officially announced that the project is on hold indefinitely. Why the sudden halt? It appears that technical and financial challenges played a major role, developing a high quality eye tracking module that seamlessly integrates with Quest 3 without driving up costs proved to be more difficult than anticipated. While high-end VR headsets like the Apple Vision Pro and PlayStation VR 2 already include built-in eye tracking, standalone headsets like Quest 3 don't have this functionality yet. For now, Meta has not announced any alternative plans to bring eye tracking to Quest 3 users. However, this doesn't necessarily mean the feature will never arrive, just that it's not happening anytime soon. The demand for eye tracking in VR remains high, and as technology advances, we might see new solutions emerge in future iterations of the Quest lineup. In the meantime, Quest 3 users will have to rely on traditional tracking methods. While this may not be a deal breaker for most, it's a missed opportunity to push standalone VR further into the realm of high-end experiences. For now, eye tracking remains an elusive dream for standalone VR, at least until a more viable solution comes along. And that wraps up all the major VR and AR news for this week and last week. Whether it's groundbreaking game releases, mind-blowing hardware updates, or wild new innovations, the future of immersive tech just keeps getting better. If you're hyped for anything we talked about, drop a comment and let us know what you're most excited for. And hey, don't forget, hit that like button and subscribe for even more VR and AR news, because next week is looking just as exciting. See you in the next one, and happy gaming in the virtual world!